declared that I was now his bride. Here, you take it. I don't want it. I don't Aww, want it. Aw, do you hear that crack in her voice? I don't want it. Wow, the Ew. phantom's kind of cheap. That's ugly. What is that? And shortly after this, that I was able to unmask Oh, him. man, this reminds me. The end of this game is the most ridiculous thing you will ever- Oh, oh did you I'm looking that? forward to oh, it, guys. I'm so excited. He was playing the organ. I slowly <laughs> crept behind him and grabbed it. It made him furious. I thought he was going to kill me. But he didn't hurt you? No. He became like a pathetic little child. He cried that now I would never love him. So... I tricked him. What did he look like? He is death personified. The poor wretched creature has- Except in the Schumacher version. Oh, oh yeah. He looks like a hot Gerard it's Butler horrible. with a slight sunburn. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I like Gerard oh, Butler. Um, I, think yeah. he's kinda, I think he's kind of dishy. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Dave Grohl is my man. He's my bae and I would never stray. Maybe Robert Smith for the goth thing. I begged him to let me return to perform in my leading debut. I promised. I, I told him I'd love I him because he did me favors. <sighs> she is such a weak character. But apparently it didn't work. Eric must have known you and I were going to meet after the opera. So he abducted me from the stage. Where is the Phantom now? He said he was going to get us some food. He should be back any minute. We must make haste. If he finds you here, he will surely kill you. No time to talk, love. Let's run. <laughs> no. Oh, now there's no now, time to talk. Now there's no Make time haste. to talk. Make I haste. Follow you. Okay, I don't think we're being timed. Can we wear the ring? <gasps> Let's wear no. it. Uh, do we want to? Like, is that bad? Let's put it on and see what happens. I'm saving my game. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. I don't know what that ring holds. I bet it'll make us burn alive. <gasps> Again. Uh, let's see where. You put on the ring. Surprisingly, it fits your ring finger quite nicely. Well, we can wear it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it does anything, but I guess might we as well. have hands as dainty as Christine's, or hers are giant. Yeah. Or the Phantom's ring is magic. Maybe she's like wearing it as a toe ring. Maybe that's where toe rings came from. from 1881. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. How dare you trespass here? Okay, I just gotta say. Does his hair look kind of weird to mm. you? Does it look like it's just kind of like... I mean, I know he had an accident. Maybe he's missing his hair. I don't know. It looks a little weird. He's got a serious lack of a hairline. Okay, I demand that you let us go. Stand back, foul beast, or I shall cause you great harm. Or no time for talking, Mon- I'm, I'm gonna go the dramatic Stand route. Stand back, foul beast, or I shall cause Look at you great he's harm. like- They're like ha! ready to I bounce. I enjoy watching you. Here we go, baby. Wait, I have a sword. Where's my sword? Oh, we're not wearing sword. the ring anymore. Oh! oh he has sword? fire sword. power? Sword. It's right there. Sword? Attack? Attack. Attack Phantom? Yeah, let's do it. Am I doing this right? I don't know. I have a sword. I assume I have to use it. Okay, here we go. What is he using? Ding. He's using like... Oh! oh. <laughs> he just like looked around like, what? Where did he go? To him? He appears to have vanished. Let's assume he's dead and go. All the better for us. Quickly, let us run. All right, yeah, run. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, right. Look at her running. We're both running so fast. Look Wait. at that speed. Now, at this point, if I hadn't taken the sheet music, just going back to the game will not allow fuck-ups. If I didn't take the sheet music earlier, Christine would say at that point, why don't you take the sheet music? Mm. So the game is actually quite forgiving. Um, yeah. But still, it still poses a challenge, though. Obviously, I didn't remember everything in the in the beginning. Well, of the except game. if you don't play the right song, <laughs> it doesn't Ugh. forgive shit on that. No. It will send you straight to hell. Christine, hang on, a, hang on, hang on a spell. I'm gonna take this ore. It seems out of place, so I'm gonna take it. Do you? Just... Oh, <laughs> oh, this game is condescending oh, as hell. I, I accidentally talked to it. <laughs> oh, Raoul. Ooh, this is a standard ore useful for steering a boat a or gondola. A this standard, is standard ore with a skull head <laughs> that's standard i guess all right i kind of like it though i would use that or myself all right come on christine let's go chop chop 
No time to waste, except plenty of time Do you time remember to waste. what happened to Jacques? Actually, she probably has no idea what happened to Jacques. Ooh, how did that get oh. there? I like there's like a skull head on it. I like it. She's like, let's get on this boat for no reason. Uh, yeah, she's just gonna get in there. <laughs> well, she's probably taken it before, is my guess. Um, cause I guess that's how she gets down here in the first place. I guess she's not gonna bother trying to row. She's no. like, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna lay, sit just, here. You do you all do the your, work. Yeah. I mean, we do have the nice butt and the upper body strength. That's true. We have been working on it. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Overly sized mask. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I guess I'll, uh, uh, I'll be Christine, you can be Raul. I never told you why I left. I knew Eric would come for me eventually. Why is there no speech here? Yeah. That's you. Oh, no, Wait, that's you. Oh, it's me. So I thought we should run away together, far away. Is there gonna, here we Christine, go. there's something about me that you don't know. Raul, I know about I'm the I'm gay. I know about the sandbags, Raul. <laughs> Oh, it's you. That's you. Oh, shh, darling, never mind. Let's not talk now. <laughs> you, ha you have work to do. <laughs> the silence here is comforting. Phantom of the Opera can't row, but maybe he Why can swim. Why was there no speech there? They, you know what? They must have forgot it. Mm. Uh, that happens sometimes in these earlier games. Like they'll forget speech and be like, "Shit, we need something here," and they'll just they'll just put text overlay. Wow. All right, well, Christine seems to know where to go, so I'm just gonna follow her. At least we don't have to go back through the catacombs. Let's push her into the water. Hang on. <laughs> push Christine. <laughs> I think it's gonna tell you you can't. Christine is not made yeah, for pushing. She's not made for pushing. All right, I'll take the first. I'll take initiative. I'll but go. her boots are made for walking. That is just what they'll do. Mm -hmm. But her voice ain't made for singing. <laughs> no. No, that voice isn't made for talking. Oh. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think it's actually... Oh, look, she's holding her own. She's climbing up those, those stairs. I, I bet Phantom's gonna grab her. Oh, I he guess doesn't. that's climbing. The door is locked and your skeleton key doesn't... Oh, I guess we just... I thought we had to go all the way up for some reason. Let's just go back. Um, Let's go in. Like, I know what's about to happen, so I'm just, I'm waiting for it to, to lead up to it. Are we going to fall from a really tall height again? <gasps> Shit, there. <gasps> oh, 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 he's oh. kicking you in the balls. That looked really cool. It did. It really did. It's a good game. All right, let's, let's walk <sighs> after it. her. We literally just had her. This is why we can't have nice things, oh, Raul. All right. This is this is end game. Okay. This is end game. It's the final countdown. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wait, did I go the wrong way? No, I'm good. All right. Guess where we're going. Guess where this game ends. Can you guess? On the roof? On the chandelier. Yes. <gasps> yes, it does. Here we go. Yes. Oh, get ready for greatness. Everyone get ready for greatness. Let's put on the wedding ring again. You notice that the cable is a bit frayed. It might not withstand, withstand too much strain, but you throw caution to the wind and proceed. Christine is in the hands of that madman. Wee! Oh, he just slowly crawls. He's pragmatic. We got this. <laughs> oh my god, this part. I'm gonna ha- oh. I'm gonna save my game here because I really want to revisit this moment in time whenever I want. <laughs> Wait, I guess I okay. You can't save here. I can't believe we're fighting on a chandelier. It's pretty epic. Prepare to die. He's kind of fat. That's mean! <laughs> look, at, look at that belly! Here, now his face fits his body. Now he's Oh, Christine's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm not staying for this. Alright. Now we're going to cut to. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh, yes! Is that us? That's us! That's us! Oh no! That's no, us! No, 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 no! Believe it or I not! I refuse to believe that! Oh, wait till you see the Phantom. Punch, punch, punch. No, no, Rhyme I'm serious. <laughs> okay, but what? Are you ready? Are you all ready? Yes. Here it is. 
This is what the phantom looks like. <laughs> He's a robot? <laughs> what is this? He's a robot. He almost looks like a piglet. Like with the like. <laughs> That's a long way down. Yeah. That is a waste of chandelier. That's the end of the game, believe it or not. <laughs> this is how it ends. Do we get back to modern times? Is we Christina do. Is Christina alive now? Oh, yeah. Monsieur Montpon. Oh, look. Monsieur Wait, Brie, did she actually die? Or are they back in time now? <laughs> She's just like pushing his arm. Wake up. Oh, tr oh trust me. There are questions to be asked about the end of this game. Where am I? You're in a happy ending. We rewrote it. Yep. What year is it? What year? This is worse than I thought. Why, it's 1993. Just as it was when you... Tis 1993, good sir. Who are you? Oh, wow. Why, I am Christine Florent. We met earlier. Don't you remember? Oh, this wow. Perhaps we this should poor girl. Go away. They're never going to date now. <laughs> oh, God, he's such a dick. He is. But first, we must make sure you are all right. By making love, just like in my dream. Why is it hitching there? Oh, okay, because it's animating. The catwalk. The phantom pushed me. <gasps> the phantom, eh? My dear boy, we haven't had a phantom here in over a hundred years. I think you're reading that book has put too many images in your head. So, oh, not... okay, I, I know what happened. I'm gonna, I'll finish up the dialogue, the but I, I think I know what happened. No. There's still a lot of like oh, loopholes. I don't get me wrong. From any phantom. See, they're saying nothing has ever happened. There were no notes. There were no, there was no chandelier tragedy. There was nothing. So he's all confused. He's like, well, wait a minute. This happened. This is why I'm here in the first place. Y'all can't tell, but I'm giving the most confused face right now. Beth is very <laughs> perplexed right now. Um, you glance over at the glass case and see that it is whole. Inside, you can see the phantom's mask, a small golden wedding ring, and a stack of sheet music entitled Don Juan Triumphant. Is it because we collected all those things? That like, is correct, yes. The chandelier tragedy. See, now he's asking this. What chandelier tragedy? The chandelier fell on the audience earlier tonight. Wow, he sounds crazy. <laughs> My dear boy, that bump on the head really has done a number on you. Maybe we should call a doctor. <laughs> yes. Should we call a doctor for the hundredth time? Where it has always hung for a hundred years. <gasps> so it's never fallen. So It nothing, has never fallen. So nothing has happened. Before. Correct. And the reason nothing happened... What? No, monsieur. My body is quite warm and alive. I'm afraid you really must see the doctor. Now, who talks like that? <laughs> By the way, Raul, my body's very warm right now. The, condi the, the conditions are perfect. I can tell by your sandbags that you approve. Mm. Wait, plural? Sandbags plural? <laughs> my god, I hook me up with this guy. <laughs> but I wouldn't call any of them phantoms. You must be Christine Day reincarnated. Or something. Christine Day? Wasn't she... She was the Phantom of the Opera's Object of Desire. A oh, they're the going to explain something, I think. Years. You must rest, Raoul. Why don't I go and fetch the doctor? Good, good suggestion, Please Christine. Do. We Please haven't do. heard that one before. Never mind, they didn't explain anything. Uh, basically, what happened is because we took the sheet music hey, with us, nobody was able... Go away and leave me alone. <laughs> He's such a dick. He just had to do Very that. Very well, you rest. Um, because we took be the sheet the music, we now. kind of... We, uh, we altered time. So because there was no sheet music, they could not, like, use his sheet music and then the Phantom would have no reason to get mad. Mm. The whole reason he was angry and he did the chandelier was because they were using his music and he didn't want that. So we took the sheet music. They never found it. They never preserved it. Oh, I guess they did find it because it's in here. Well, they never used it. They never used the sheet music. But see, this doesn't make sense, though, because in the original story... He demands that they perform Don Juan. Not in this story, baby. Uh, he doesn't like it here. It doesn't make any sense. No. You are perplexed. <laughs> you are it? not the only one, Raul. <laughs> was it a dream? It couldn't have been. It was too real. What about Madame Geary's book? You decide to check on the book. what the book says about the Phantom's demise. That's a good idea, because the book will change, too. Everything's different now. So we basically did what we were supposed to do. We fixed it. We fixed the chandelier tragedy. By 
not allowing it to happen in the first place. But now everyone thinks we're insane. Yeah, that's... T <laughs> you quickly turn to the last paragraph, which reads, Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, met his death along with the brave Raoul de Chagny in 1881 when the chandelier upon which two the two men were fighting fell from the ceiling. Monsieur de Chagny was giving a hero's burial while the Phantom was buried in an unmarked pauper's grave. But the artifacts were kept in the opera library for safekeeping. I do believe that the world has heard the last of Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, but wait for it. Wait for it. I mean, aren't we descended? What? Oh, I th again, I hyped up something that didn't happen. The ending has changed. You quickly threw the book once again to make sure. What kind of trick have the forces of destiny played on you? You realize now that you somehow managed to save the life of not only Christine Day, but of Christ Christine Florent. And as for the Phantom, he is gone forever. Or wait, is wait, he? wait for it. Well, ah! oh, it is. is he? We don't notice that is for some reason. Is he the phantom now? There's no such thing as chance. And what to us seems the merest accident springs from the deepest source of destiny. I bet Degas said that about Johann Christoph Friedrich von Schiller. No, no, no. That was from Degas about ballerinas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't achieved a... What? What? Okay, so we missed four points. I don't know what that four points could have mm. been because we went through this with a fine tooth comb. Um, maybe something in the beginning when I was like, I don't know what to do. I know we didn't fully ask, uh, the guy, our, our BFF, everything in the beginning. So maybe mm. we missed asking him a question there. Or maybe, maybe something we were supposed to look at, mm -hmm. an inventory object, something like that. But that, my friends, is Return of the Phantom. You know, I don't dislike this game. I, I made fun of it in my review. I, I gave it more of a snarky review. But I have fond memories of this game. I, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. It is novel. The voices... You know, it, not everything can be a winner yeah. in terms of voice, especially in 1993. I mean, let's be honest here. They probably hired people they knew for the voices. There's nobody professional in this game. You oh, know? you don't think there are any professional actors? Um, in terms of, like, professional voice actors, probably not. Uh, a lot of games just took the programmers and sat them in front of a mic and said, here, you be this. They did that in King's Quest all the time. Although, King's Quest was kind of more on top of their game. They had better voice actors for the time. But I know in, uh, in some of the Laura Bow games, they just used, like, programmers. Just, like, speaking to this mic, we'll save money that way. I don't know, Charles had a pretty professional amount of sass. Yeah, it, that, guy, that guy, he was just playing himself. That sass cannot be taught. <laughs> that sass is born, you're born with it. So as you can see, there were some rotoscope modeling, and that's why it looks so smooth, basically. That's Laura why the animation... Laura Dwork. Okay, Laura Dwork. Let's see who this lady is. I'll Raymond look... Benson was Bri... Charles Shenton right. was Raul. Laura... Raul. Laura Dwork, voice actor. Yeah, pretty sure she yeah. doesn't do anything. She's just no. in the return of the phantom. No, she does. I, I, uh, there's nothing. I don't <laughs> think any of these people are. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think any of these people are... Oh, well, obviously, the, the programmers, they have probably gone on to, but in terms of the voice acting... Oh, and by the way, the voice acting, this was for the CD-ROM version. There's a floppy disk version as well, oh. and there are no voices. This is just the narration, Ooh. so um, this was kind of a thing that they did for the CD-ROM. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, they have two different voice acting teams? Oh, maybe. Was it different from the floppy to the CD-ROM, I wonder? It looks like it, yeah. That's interesting. Edgar um, Degas. The, uh, are we going to wait to see the apology? Uh, you want to see the credits? The apology. I want to see end. the apology. I, I don't remember if it's like an apology, but I know that they mentioned him. Ooh, the usher and the ticket seller were the same person. Oh my god. Crafty. Yeah. So there was QA, but it is it is like essentially just a couple people. Mm -hmm. uh, just that's how games were. These days you have a dedicated quality assurance team. <laughs> and even then, like it's, you know, stuff gets through. They can miss Actually, that. this is a pretty sizable QA team. Uh, not as big as some of the QA teams we have today, but, you I know, did, sizable. I, I did enjoy this game. You did I, like it? I did. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's 
there's some pretty dumb things, but I got to admit, like, even just the walking I find really hilarious because it's kind of <sighs> nice when your character just takes their time. Yes. Because then you don't have to rush. You can just be like, okay, I'm just going to chill. But then again, you were the one who was doing the controls, not me. I just get to sit back and right. just wait. I'm just like, oh, like, I really, <laughs> why is he walking this slow? Uh, based. So this is actually based on the novel. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, this was adapted from the novel. There are not many games that are adapted specifically from the novel source. Usually there's a novel that leads to a book. Um, but the, um, no, actually, I was going to say the dark half, but I think that actually was based on right. on the movie. But yeah, based on the novel, that's pretty neat. The Lyric Theater Baltimore, but that's where they found that amazing singer who was Christine oh Daae. No. Doug Kaufman, whoever you are, thank you. And other people. Is this what the Paris Opera House looks like? Is like is this Sid Meier? Yeah, yeah, that's the Microprose. Uh, oh. so, so this is like Sid Meier's uh, company, essentially. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's his company, but I know Micro. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities between persons living or dead and characters in this story are entirely coincidental, except for Edgar Degas, who is a real painter and who may or may not have been a lecherous old man. But you know, he did paint all those pictures of young ballerine. Oh, never mind. Wow. Oh my God. They're pushing some kind of agenda on me right now. That's terrible. That is absolutely awful. I can't believe they did that. Who snuck that in? Like, I don't know. I mean, like for small teams like that, you know, you could do it for small teams. So if you want, he's returning again. And I don't mean, I don't mean us as in you. I mean, if the play, if people are watching us, if you want to give the challenging part a try, I don't know what's different. I don't know if there are different puzzles. I know that the catacombs are different. I don't know anything that else that is different. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm totally fine with just doing the novice, but that is the game. That is the whole game. Thank you, Beth, for joining me. I'm glad you liked this game because it's it's hard to be a guest for a game that's like, ugh, like, bleh, I don't like this I'm game. I'm not saying I would play it myself what, what in my make? spare time. I think you would. Mm, the Phantom of the Opera says no. What about, like, <laughs> what about Tim? Like, your fan? Come on, Tim would like this game. Quality time. Uh, date, yeah. Date night. D date night. Date night. Return to the Phantom. <laughs> Guys, you, this is your advice. If Where you need... we make love. Wait, oh, that God. was weird sounding. But that was intended from in the game. This went was a, a weird direction. <laughs> but that is the whole thing. I will link you guys to Beth's content and leave any comments, suggestions, things you know about the lore in the comments. I am interested in hearing them. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!